Now to our GMA cover story and the buzzy drama inventing Anna, telling the tale of Anna Sorkin, who pulled off ambitious scams on New York's elite this morning, a woman who says she's one of her real life victims opening up to GMA and Will Carr has the story. And good morning, Ava. This is a story that's made for television and involves a con artist who ripped off New York's elite. She was convicted, went to prison, sold her life story, and now it is a hit show on Netflix. This morning, controversy is swirling around the hit Netflix series Inventing Anna, which opens with the disclaimer, this story is completely true, except for the parts that are totally made up. I am famous. The show inspired by the true-to-life story of Anna Sorokin, who claimed to be a German heiress. In reality, Anna, who used the last name Delvey when she was scamming New York's elite, stole more than $200,000 from acquaintances, banks, and hotels to finance her lavish lifestyle. Actress Anna Klumsky, who plays journalist Vivian Kin on the show, talking to George last week about Anna's crimes. It is amazing she was able to pull this off for so long. It is. It is. It's fascinating. I think that any time, you know, somebody sort of skirts the edge of the social contract, we, uh, those of us who, who really like the social contract, are very fascinated by, by how they do it and why. In 2019, Anna was convicted and sentenced to prison. She was released last February for good behavior and reportedly sold her life story to Netflix for more than $300,000. But now Rachel Williams, who accused Anna of stealing from her, is speaking out, criticizing the show's sympathetic portrayal of Anna. Rachel calls the show a dangerous distortion of the truth. If there is a way that true crime stories can be told, seen, um, discussed, even dramatized responsibly, this just isn't it. Williams says Anna stuck her with a $62,000 bill from a trip they took to Morocco. Ultimately, however, the jury found Anna not guilty of stealing from Williams. She is someone who doesn't deserve our, our celebration. She's someone who's committed crimes, and I do think it's important to have a moral compass. Williams, who detailed her experience with Anna for Vanity Fair, and later in the book, My Friend Anna believes that Anna conned Netflix into making her character special and inspiring. They've made Anna out to be this sort of anti-hero and Robin Hood character and, and over-the-top glamorized. As for Anna, six weeks after being released from prison, she was picked up by ICE for overstaying her visa and is currently being held in New York as she faces the possibility of deportation. Anna not only sold her life story, she was also a paid consultant on the show, so we reached out to Netflix and so far have not heard back. Phil. Will, thanks. A lot of people are going to be watching. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.